gang what is up everybody hope you're all doing well happy wednesday morning so i have a little something for you well number two i got two things for you okay and uh obviously i'll be back later on with the lineup and we'll recap the game too so make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss things like that okay and smash that like button if you enjoy the content it's really greatly appreciated one way or another now matt blake did an interview and uh, after uh well he responded i should say to jordan montgomery's <laughs> Kind of, he took some shots on the Yankees, <clears throat> at the Yankees on the way out when after the trade. And uh, one of the things that he said that they didn't uh, let him utilize his four seam fastball enough. <clears throat> and yes, it was a pretty drastic increase in the usage of his four seam fastball. Now he's come back down to earth, as you can see. ZRA went from zero zero to like two point something now. So he's becoming more of the normal Jordan Montgomery, but with a little bit of a different pitch repertoire. But with that said, uh, Matt Blake kind of broke down. You know, the reasons why the four-seam fastball was, wasn't appropriate for this team and that and blah, blah, blah. He gave you a really nice breakdown. I'm going to link that interview down below so you can take a look at it. And then you let me know what you think. And uh, I really, really want to know what you think. But today is going to be uh, – I really want to focus on Harrison Bader. I, I, if you haven't heard about him yet or haven't heard from him, there's a little bit of interview clip I'm going to show you right now, which gives you a little bit more insight into who he is as a player and as a, as a, pl as a person. I feel good about it. I'm pretty excited to have him back, and I think you will be as well after you hear this. But – with that said, um, you know, give me your feedback one way or another. And I think he's going to be in, and the fact that he's healthy, he's playing now in the rehab assignment in double A Somerset, and he's already stolen bases. He's done made some good plays in the outfit. So his legs, which was the biggest problem, he was in a walking boot, are healthy. So I think we're going to have a pretty, pretty, pretty good weapon here to use to utilize. But take a look at this clip. Uh, speaking of the Bronx, what's it like for you to be back home uh, and then eventually playing in front of your friends and family? What's it going to be like for you? And what does it mean for you to be a Yankee? Yeah, listen, it means a lot. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, I'm not going to hide the fact that I, you know, was born and raised in New York and, you know, grew up a Yankees fan. It's definitely a nice aspect of what we got going on here. But, you know, listen, there's a job to do every single day. Um, this really is an emotional, this is a physical game. Um, it's about preparation. It's about taking the emotion out of it. So as happy as I am, no doubt about it, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled. Um, but listen, that, that doesn't take away from, from what we got going on. Uh, and that's winning games after nine innings for an entire season, which this team has done an incredible job of all year. And again, I'm just looking forward to adding to that winning culture and that winning mentality and hopefully make some history here in 2022 in October. And uh, just a follow-up, speaking of culture, what did you learn in St. Louis that you, that you will bring? To New York? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I learned how to win. I really did. Um, you know, we, we didn't, in my tenure in St. Louis, we didn't necessarily have, a, you know, a championship to speak of, but we did have a lot of playoff appearances, won a, you know, won a division title. Um, there's a lot of winning that went on. There are a lot of good players I learned from. Um, so, you know, in St. Louis, you learn how to win, man, and you learn how to do it multiple ways. And, um, you know, I think that's what it takes to win. You know, not one singular part of anyone's game is going to always be there. So, Finding ways to adjust and pivot is uh, is tremendously important in competition. So, uh, St. Louis definitely taught me how to win. Now, let me know what you think of that. Now, keep in mind, this guy is a gamer, an absolute gamer, okay? And with Ben Attendee potentially not coming back, we don't know if he's guaranteed to come back yet. And if he does, whether he's going to be productive and healthy again, this guy right here would be a very, very good replacement for Andrew Benatendi. He's an elite base runner, okay? He's got speed. He's an aggressive base runner. He's also one of the best defensive center fielders in baseball, all of baseball, and he's known to be pensioned for that clutch hit. He doesn't have sexy stats, but just like Rugnado Dorn, I mentioned him before, you know how many clutch hits he got for the, he got for the Yankees in a short time here? A ton of them. This guy's kind of the same way, and he's an absolute gamer. So I think he's going to bring a new attitude to the Yankees. But if Ben Attendee's here and Bader's here, it would be phenomenal. You know, if Ben Attendee re-signs with the Yankees this offseason, having him and Bader in the outfield next year, and potentially Oswaldo Cabrera or something like that, roaming the outfield too, or Judge if, he's come, if he comes back, we're going to have a hell of a lot better outfield next year, particularly if they move on from Aaron Hicks and guys like that. So, But we'll see. But you let me know what you think in that interview. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I want to know what you think. So, And I'll be obviously seeing you guys later for the lineups and everything else. Over now.